forth and craft. I picked up the template itself for free on the Dungeon Masters Guild, and it's actually spell area of effect cones, but they had a sphere, so I used that, right? And I needed these uh, office binder covers too, and they're plastic. So let's check this out. So they're this fairly thick plastic, and they're going to be great for this project, right? So here I've got my cutting mat. I've got a th relatively thick cardboard here, the double corrugation. And then here's the template I printed from the PDF. So this is perfect for our project, right? It's a 20-foot sphere. So I'm going to put this down on there. And you see it'll slide around. So what I'm going to do to secure it is just put a tack right in the center there. And that'll hold it right in place. So perfect. And here I've got my glue gun, my CC Better, my favorite glue gun. You can pick this up uh, at the link uh, below the video. And uh, there we go. I'm just going to ring this. And I'm just going to follow this uh, circle as a guide. And, you know, I could just do the one circle, but I kind of want to, I like the idea of you can measure uh, the distance. Each, each ring is an inch apart. So that's kind of cool. And it'll give a neat effect in like and I'm not kind of a fireball concussion kind of thing. You'll see when I get further into the project. And uh, so I'm just going to ring that there. And now when that's glued dry a little bit, I use my CC better and just start pulling glue in towards the center, right? So you're angling it towards the center at all times. And I'm going to start with the edge and then pull it out, right? And then I'll go more towards the middle and fill that in. So you want to lip on the edge and then, you know, it goes toward the center. So very cool. So just super easy to do. And you'll, you'll notice the plastic warps a little bit, but it's okay. It, as it cools, it kind of goes back into place. So don't worry about that. And they're kind of pulling it into the center. You can see the effect there. Really cool. And there it is, all finished. I just take the tack off. And I'm going to pull a uh, glue out from the center. And uh, there we go. Our template is physically finished. Now I just have to paint it up. So I'm going to use just yellow acrylic paint dipped in water so it's so that it's, uh, it's kind of translucent, right? You can still see through the template, which I like. I like the color effect of the fireball, but I want you to be able to see through it also. And so there, there we just fill that all in. Don't worry about the edges. Now I'm going to use orange and a wide brush and just kind of pull that in. This is called dry brushing. I'm just gently, you know, putting the other color on. And I uh, get the edge there. And look at that. The edges are really starting to become defined. Really cool. Really neat. And now I'm going to use a red and just pull that in like I did the, uh, the orange. And looking cool. Looking cool. Wow, this couldn't be easier. So just keep pulling that red in. Boom! Nice. Okay, now I'm going to do a little red dot in the center, kind of to mark where the exact center is. And I'll put a little yellow in there just to kind of make it interesting. There we go. The point of origin, right? Okay, now I've got it on the sheet. Well, that's not cool. I don't want that. So, uh, but you can see that it's uh, dried up. So now what I did was I spray painted it with a gloss spray that will seal it as well as make the uh, the colors really pop right you can see those colors are really popping on there just cut this out with the with scissors and I'm ready for my table so let's hit the table and I'll show you how it looks super easy cool all right dear and dears we have our classic setup we have uh, a, a cliff with a bitch going across we got the enemy and we have the mage on the other side and the mage is going to take care of this problem with a fireball boom so here's our template so the mage can decide where they want to do it. Do they want to get those people on the bridge? Do they want to get some combination of bridge and people over here? Or enemies? Or actually all the enemies on the other side. So uh, yeah, they get the enemies on the other side. They still got to deal with the ones on the bridge. So uh, there you go. You got your template. It's really thematic. I think it looks great. Just super easy to make. And you can make all kinds of spell templates. And I'm sure I'll make more of these different types of spell templates. Oop, oh, knocked you off. Ah, out of the chasm. So, yeah, there we go. I think that's really came out great, and I'll see you next time on The Craft.